Hello there kids, today we are going to talk about average. Okay, so ano nga bang average? So basic uh, logic muna tayo when it comes to average. Basically, para sa akin lang ha, uh, I don't want to complicate things in terms of definition, but I want you to understand how or what the topic is all about. Okay, so let's talk about average, no? And I and I, and I want to take this as average refers to being like even, making others uh, other numbers even. What do you mean by even? Making units the same. Okay, because when we talk about average, it refers to several data such as uh, given numbers, in which you can share the value of one number to, one, to another, and make them even. So what am I trying to say? Example, meron tayong numbers 4 and 8. When it comes to sharing, it's always the bigger number that tends to share to the smaller ones. Okay. And trying to make them even or the same, parang binabalance natin. Okay? Binabalance natin yung data. So, for example, if we have 8, para mas klaro, let's take a uh, units, no? Para mas, uh, just for this example lang. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if we are going to remove 1 from 8 and add it to 4, if you notice, we now have 5 and 7. If you are going to remove more from 8 and put it in this side, if you notice, we now have a total of 6 for each. So, once you'll be able to balance them out, this now is basically what you mean by average. Okay? So we can now say that the average of 4 and 8 is 6. Okay? So ganun lang yung ibig sabihin niyan. Basically, anong ibig sabi uh, an yan ang definition ng average. Parang binabalance out ninyo. So, other example, let's say we have original numbers natin such as 2 and, ano ba? Mm, let's say 12. Okay, then again, it's always the bigger number that shares to the smaller value. Tama na ba? Okay, 12. So, let's, let's do the shading method. By the way, there is a solution. Ha? What I'm trying to tell, uh, to show you here, is what you mean by average. Because I just don't, I don't want you to to just solve for it, and then you don't even know what it means. Okay. So let's take, let's try to take four at a time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if you notice, we now have six here. Dito naman we have eight. Okay. So idahan dahan na natin. Let's take 1. So if you notice, we now have 7. And we now also have 7. So yun. Balance out na tayo. We have 7 and 7 here. So it is now to safe to say that the average of 2 and 12 is 7. Since it is the part where they even out, it's basically like finding the center value of both numbers. Okay? Kung saan sila magbabalance. So, this is also applicable for numbers, uh, mag yung mga malalaking number. For example, let's take numbers, uh, kunwari, 3, 4, and 8. Actually, yung number, ha yung number arrangement can be written randomly. Okay. Whichever number goes first, it's okay. Okay, so try natin gawin yung uh, data. 1, 2, 3. Just to show you the logic, ha? You are not, uh, it is not necessary for you to do this. Yung sticks. It's just to show you the how we tend to even out numbers and give us the final answer. Okay. So, again, it's always the bigger number that shares to the smaller ones. So, isa-isa yun lang natin. Let's take 1 and give 1 to the smallest value. So, we now have 4 here, 4 here, and we have 7 here. Okay. Again, continuously doing the activity. Remove 1. 
give to the other one. So if you notice, we have now 5, 6, and 4. And, again, kung mapapansin nyo, this number na ngayon ang smallest, no? That has the smallest value. So, we can now share papunta doon na rin. Removing 1 from, from the original and sharing it to this one. So, evening it out, we now have everything equivalent to 5. So, since na, na we were able to distribute it in such a way that they are now the same or balanced out. So, it is now safe to say that the average of 3, 8, and 4 is 5. Okay? So, ngayon, that you were able to see how we tend to take the average of set of numbers, there is actually an actual solution for this one. Okay? Ano ba yung first natin? Ito. 4 and 8. Remember that our answer here is equivalent to 6. Okay? Our average here is equivalent to 6. I, I noted the small a to show that it is our average. Okay? So, erase ko lang to. And to show you the proper solution and proper way how to solve for this. Okay. Ang proper solving dito, all you need to do, since uh, take note that we have two numbers. Okay? 1, that's that uh, that is actually a very important thing for you to know. Okay, kung how many units tayo meron. And in this case, we have two. So first things first, all you have to do is to add the numbers. So in this case, we now have 4 plus 8. 4 plus 8 will give us 12. Okay. Now that you are done adding it, step 2, divide it, divide the answer by the number of units. What do you mean by units? Kung ilan yung number na meron tayo. For example, in this case, we have 4 and 8. So that's 2. Okay, so divided by 2. So, ano yung i-divide natin? Yung answer natin sa number 1, which is, in this case, is 12. Dividing it by 2 will give us 6. So, if you notice, our answer is the same as that one. Okay, then again, you just need to, to remember the rule, no? Add the numbers and then divide it by the number of units na meron tayo. Let's try to apply the, this method here. Again, remember that our average here is 7. Small a again. Just to note that it is our average. Erase ko to. Ano yung first step natin? We are going to add the numbers, the given numbers. So in this case, that is equivalent to 2 plus 12, which will give us 14. Okay. Then divide the answer by the number of units. Ilan yung numbers na given that sa atin? We have 1, 2. So then again, divided by 2. Tayo. So, the answer here is 14 and just simply divide it by 2. 14 divided by 2, knowing your multiplication table, doing, it the, doing the opposite is division. So, our answer here is 7. So, if you notice again, our answer is the same. Okay, dito ngayon, medyo malaki. Again, uh, ang answer natin dito is our average is 5. Tatanggalin ko lang to. Tingnan natin kung if we'll be able to get the answer correctly. Ano yung first rule? First rule is to add the numbers. So, in this case, kung mapapansin nyo, we now have 3 units, no? 1, 2, 3. Again, that's very important for you to know. 3 plus 8 plus 4. I-add nyo lang yan lahat. 3 plus 8 will give us 11, plus 4 will give us 15. Okay, we now have 15. Ano yung next? Divide the answer by the number of units. So, in this case, we don't have 2, but we have 3. Okay, so divided by 3 tayo. So, we have our answer, which is 15, divided by 3. Again, if you know your multiplication facts, this will be a lot easier for you. And 15 divided by 3 is equivalent to... 
So, ganun lang. That's basically how you take the average. Kahit ilan pa yan. Okay? It is also possible for you to end up with a decimal. If you will end up with a decimal, proceed with uh, the usual division in which you bring down a number. Okay? So, for example lang. Taking the average. Let's say the numbers are, uh, take the average of, Seventeen and twelve. Okay. So again, taking note the number of units na meron tayo, kasi it, it actually matters, no? We have two. So taking the average, you just basically add the given numbers, and seventeen plus twelve will give will give us twenty nine. Now that you have the answer, ano gagawin natin? We just divide it by the number of units given. So in this case, we have one. 2. So, that's 29 divided by 2. Since you don't have the answer for this right away, you can solve it this way. Such as 29, you can write it this way rather. 29 divided by 2. So, taking one number at a time, 2 divided by 2 will give you 1. 1 times 2 will give you 2. Subtract nyo lang yan. So, 2 minus 2 is 0. Bring down 9. 9 divided by 2 is equivalent to 4. 4 times 2 will give us 8. And if you notice now, we have a remainder. When we take the average, you, I, you do not give the answer as a remainder. For example, the, the average is 14, remainder 1. No, that is wrong. Okay? Mali yan. What you do is to continuously add by simply adding a zero and once you add the zero there it now represents a decimal there and also in your answer okay so now you you were able to add zero all you have to do now is to bring it down and continue dividing 10 divided by 2 will give us 5 5 times 2 will give us 10 and the answer here is zero Okay, so this is one example in just in case that you will encounter a number that you cannot make them even, very even, the same. Okay, so 14.5 yung average natin. Okay, so writing that, that is the average of 17 and 12 is 14.5. Okay. So, ganun lang. Ganun lang kadali. Okay? So, that's your activity for today.